Hi Vibrant Souls! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Vibrant Soul Tarot and I'm super excited to have you here today. So in today's Pick a Card reading, we are going to be asking about that person on your mind's current thoughts, feelings in regards to you, and also in regards to the connection. So how are they feeling about you? Um, what else may you know you need to know about this and anything else to kind of come up for you about this connection and about their feelings. So if this sounds like the reading for you, then welcome. You are at the right place. So let's go ahead and get into the pile selections here. We have these three piles to choose from. Pile number one, starting right here, we have the Modern Witch Tarot deck along with this Aura Coded Quartz. For pile number two, we have the Crybaby Tarot deck along with this Amethyst Tower. And then for pile number three, we have the Anima Mundi Tarot deck along with this Labradorite Moon. So please take your time in choosing your pile. If you do need more time, you're more than welcome to pause the video here. Please take as much time as you need. But when you do have your pile selected, I will post the timestamps for each one in the description box below for your convenience. And I will see you guys at your reading. Bye. Hi, pile one, and welcome to your reading if you chose the aura coded quartz or if you chose the modern witch tarot, whichever one it is that you chose, welcome. So today we are asking how that person on your mind is currently feeling about you. What are some thoughts, feelings that they may have towards you and towards the connection here? I'm going to ask Spirit to please tune me into my pile one situation as well as tune me into how this person may be feeling about them and anything else that they may need to know at this time about this person's feelings and about this connection, please. Thank you. All right. So the first card we have coming out is the Eight of Cups for you. How is this person feeling? We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups. And we have the Six of Wands in reverse. Okay, so this is someone that you did walk away from or they walked away it doesn't matter who who did this but what I, what i'm seeing here so far and we are going to get some clarifiers as well as more some oracles and then some channel messages we got all the stuff ready to see exactly how this person is feeling and what's going on with them i do feel like there was a break in this or like a separation in this connection one of you had to walk away but i do feel like this person is definitely open to a new opportunity here with you if that was possible because i feel like with this six of wands in reverse they either don't like the way that things ended and it wasn't the outcome here that they wanted and I feel like they kind of want to shift that here as well especially with this ten of cups I feel like they see a lot of potential here in this connection they see a lot of love here and I feel like they do believe that you are someone who can fulfill them and make them happy and I think right now what they're kind of doing is they're either going to create another opportunity here whether that's presenting itself presenting it to you an opportunity here or they're kind of waiting for an opportunity here but let's see a little bit more into how this person is feeling so let's get some clarifiers here with the eight of cups we have strength okay We also have the devil coming out right on top of that eight of cups. I love how it landed right there because when I got the strength card right now, I was like thinking, I was like, okay, so it, it was a, took a lot of strength for this person to walk away. It was something that was really hard for them. And then the fact that the devil flew out right on top of um, these cards as well is telling me, which I'm going to do it like that because of the little booties. I tried to, I went through and I tried to block off any kind of nudity, but you know, sometimes it just, it's, it just, it's not even nudity. YouTube, if you're listening to me, it's not. Don't uh, demonetize this, please. Thank you. Anyways, um, <laughs> now, so what I was saying, what I was seeing is the devil flying right on top of that is that even though they tried to walk away or they're, or, you know, it took a lot of strength for them, or maybe they even, you know, took that action or whatever to walk away here. They still feel 
very, very, very much attached to you. Like when the devil comes out, it's a strong sense of attachment. It's almost like you cannot get away from the, you know, they can't get away from you. Like they're probably thinking about you all the time. The devil energy can also be a little bit obsessive. It can be very sexual. It can be all of those things. But from what I'm seeing is they feel very stuck on you, like almost codependently. And I feel like it's almost as if the more this person tried to walk away, the, this more, the more the person tried to let go and, you know, and have that strength. It's, it does, it doesn't matter when the devil energy comes up. It's like, you, they're stuck on you for sure so that was very interesting here it's, to come out i love how it landed like right on top of there too like so perfect huh wasn't that that was like perfect okay so let's talk about this ace of pentacles here spirit what's up with this ace of pentacles we have the page of swords okay Let's go ahead and get these other cards out so we can just talk about it too. So why do we have the Ten of Cups? I'm going to pick the one that flipped over. So we have the Two of Wands. Okay. So I feel like these are kind of separate within itself. I don't know if I'm going to keep them out here, but I'm going to note that we have the Empress and we have the Five of Swords. And what I'm feeling with that is too is that... If there was some sort of arguments here with you, they don't know if you're going to be open to receiving or if you're going to be like confrontational about something here for some of you. And I think that could be having them hold back. But I also hear that with this Empress card here, because the Empress card is the Divine Feminine, which is all about abundance and love and open to receiving and things like that. With the Five of Swords, is like, I feel like they're like, I don't want to argue with you anymore. I don't want you to think that every time I'm coming to you, it's like an argument and it's a fight is what I'm seeing with that. And also I think they kind of do want to resolve some sort of conflict here in that situation. And I think that's why those were kind of coming out as a separate uh, pile. All right, so why is the Six of Wands here in reverse spirit? We have the lovers. Gosh, dang, I'm horrible at that apparently. Oh, and then the bottom of the deck, we have the sun. You really do bring this person so much joy, or at least you did at one point in time. The six of wands in reverse and the lovers coming out is saying that they feel definitely very strongly for you. They feel like you could possibly be the one for them because when the lovers comes out, it's not really a, a, a joke of like, oh, I think, oh, you know, oh, I think this person is for me. Like the lovers usually comes out because there is a strong, strong connection. And this person's probably thinking, wow, like pile one is the one for me and I want a new opportunity or I'm waiting for some sort of opportunity here to tell them and we have this ten of cups and the two of wands so they when they when they think about a future with you they think about joy they think about a happy family literally like on the card i don't know if you can see it because i know sometimes the glare gets in the way but on the card there's a family they have kids you know and they're like playing they're like i can see that with you and the future does look very bright you know in regards to how they view you and i also feel like you know that empress was coming out as well too because they're viewing you as possibly their empress i mean it doesn't matter um about gender you know but it's like the one that they could love and then we have the six of swords under here as well too which is a beautiful energy again this is that getting away from conflict this is that moving on from the conflict and, and all of that other stuff kind of moving on from the past and wanting to go into a more peaceful calmer state um of being and i feel like right now what they're what they're feeling for you is really beautiful. But a lot of it is, I feel, a future energy. That's the thing. A lot of it is like, um, this could be, this can be. And I think right now with this page of swords, right now it's like, yeah, they are trying to figure out how to communicate with this to you. Now, the page of swords is also a very underdeveloped energy as well. And I think the page of swords could also indicate them kind of watching you. What are you doing? Trying to figure something out, figure out how you feel, maybe even checking your social media to see if you would be open to this opportunity at all. You know, and I think that, um, oh, and I'm hearing for some of you, this, for some of you, this is already in the works like they've already presented this to you or you've already talked about it as well so right now they're feeling very positive um about the outcome here and i think that 
if and um, for those specific people for others it's what i've been saying but yeah so they're kind of like waiting like for this opportunity for other people or i mean for the other collective the other group of people that that didn't resonate with and i think it's because the six of wands in reverse is really saying like dang like this could be something great but whatever had happened or maybe like this also could be doubts and fears and things like that and also it can come through as a little bit of ego like i think that right now they're realizing they kind of have to put their pride to the side they kind of have to let that ego you know calm down like calm their ego in order for this to um be beautiful or be something that they want it to be and i feel like there it could be because they were feeling some sort of disconnection here with this six of wands in reverse with this lovers and they want to bring back that harmony as well okay let's see if we have any zodiac signs we have a, a lot of leo energy because we have the sun here and we also have strength underneath that with the devil we have capricorn energy we also have gemini energy coming out here we do have all signs present but those are the strong signs coming through and they don't have to resonate with you don't worry all right so let's get oops first card coming out is regret i know that i cannot change the past yeah we definitely saw that with the six of swords and that five of swords kind of wanting to get away from the past conflicts as well i feel like this person definitely regret is coming because of, of how they're viewing you and how they're viewing this future energy here if they screwed it up or if there it, there was something that did cause that did cause some sort of disconnection between you and them they're definitely feeling it and i think that's why with that eight of cups coming out like it, it was something that's really hard for them to do and honestly they haven't done it like they were trying it seems like they were trying to walk away from this they may have tried to disconnect from this but that devil energy is saying mm -mm, nope everywhere you turn everywhere you look their pile one is you know you can't you can't get away that easily and like i said before and i'm hearing it again they may be a little bit obsessed uh, and uh, obsessive thinking obsessive thoughts obsessive desires as well too because the devil energy can also be like our desires what else can you tell us please about oh, how they're feeling so we have deceit we have door to spirit in reverse and then we have walking away in reverse again we're walking away again because that's basically the eight of cups okay so what i'm hearing with this this deceit and this walking away and all of this they were like at first they were fooling themselves like i don't think they realized who you really were and like what this connection really was until it was too late and I think with that deceit as well, too, this could have been maybe they could have had deceitful actions. And that's because with this door to spirit in reverse, they weren't in the right place. It wasn't like they, it. Actually, I want to clarify this. Excuse me. Let's clarify this. But I mean, with this walking away in reverse, though, that's kind of like with that eight of cups and that strength. It's like, you know, I tried to walk away, but I really can't. There's something always i was i heard lyrics in my head and i was literally gonna say them like normal but i'll just sing the lyrics it was like every time i try to leave something keeps pulling me back me back but i really want to see the store to spirit i because there's a couple different messages coming out with here like this could have been spirit coming through to show you some truth about this and that's why this this situation couldn't have opened up fully maybe spirit was closing this door and also i think that this person was kind of out of touch with their spiritual side or maybe at least that side that's telling them that kind of intuitive spiritual side that's telling them like look like this is something more this is you need to pay attention to this don't screw it up or whatever and they didn't trust it and i think both of those things could definitely be true because i'm hearing confirmation but i want to get I just want to get a card. Ooh, we had the throat chakra coming through as well, too. So, yeah, that could have been, like, them denying the truth of this at first. So, why is this door to spirit card here, please, spirit? Every time I try to leave. Oh, my God, now that's going to be stuck in my head the whole time. <laughs> Trust okay yeah so i accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly we were just saying yeah they weren't trusting it they were definitely deceiving themselves about this connection i think until it was too late and then they had all these realizations they had all these they're having all these feelings all of these realizations of these things and they're like oh my gosh is there still a, ch a chance did i screw it up because they do think 
if I can be quite honest, they think very highly and very fondly of you, Pio One. This person has, I feel like, has a lot of love and a lot of respect for you. And with this regret and all of the things that we've kind of been talking about and all the things that we've kind of been seeing, Pio One, I really feel like this person is like, why didn't I realize this sooner? Why didn't I see this sooner? Or why didn't, or why didn't I... It's a lot of why didn't I's. Let's just keep it at that. <laughs> Okay, bottom of the deck here, we have relationships, which is I am attracted to, I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Um, first things first, this person is definitely very attracted to you because when I said I'm attracted to people, I was like, basically the message was like, I am so attracted to you. Um, and then I think that, you know, relationships is something that this person is at times kind of iffy about. And I think that's why we have this trust here as well, too. Like, I don't know if I can trust. I don't know if I can do this. I think those things were kind of said in the beginning as well here, too. But you know what? Let's go ahead and get some channel messages. And let's see what comes out for you from this person. So what are some channel messages here, Spirit, from this person for Pile 1? What do they want Pile 1 to know? You are my soulmate with that lover's card, too. I knew it. I was like, this is not, like, your average everyday, like, person. Like, this person's like, dang, like, pile one is my person. What are some more channel messages here, please? I want to have your babies. I don't know how I feel. I want to look good for you. Yeah, I told you this person thinks highly of you. They could, they want to impress you. I think that if this person did disappoint you in some way, they they really don't like that. And I think with that six of wands in reverse as well too, that was kind of like that. I don't like the way things like uh, things ended, or I don't like the way I don't I don't like how I looked in this. There was some sort of like ego bruising for some of you with that six of wands. We have I just want to cuddle with you. And then we did talk about, too, this person wanting to have a family with you here with this Ten of Cups as well. I regret so many things. Yeah. Yeah, wow. A lot of these are just straight up, like, confirmations for the things that we were already looking at. That's so interesting. Okay. Let's get a few more before we get the advice here for you. I'm not doing well without you. I lied so I wouldn't lose you. Mm hmm that's that deceit card right there and then we have I want you to make the first move which that's childish and I, I want to this is what I thought it said right now I was like I thought it was saying because it was upside down that I want to move in together I was like whoa whoa that's a little fast I'm just kidding. It could be, it could, doesn't have to be fast. Okay. And then underneath that we have, if you never want to talk to me again, I'll understand. And I think that's that person's guilt kind of coming through. There's definitely some guilt here about them not being 100% honest. Um, for some of you, this could have been something deeper for, for others of you that maybe like this, you don't know if this person we did anything like super deceitful this could have just been them not being honest about their feelings like I lied about my feelings or I or you know I held back or whatever the case is but obviously it's a general reading so just take what resonates to the severity I don't think that this reading is going to present to you any information that you don't already know and what I mean by that is is like if the deceit was maybe like cheating or or in, yeah like infidelity or something like that then obviously you're not going to find out here this is going to be something that you probably already know about so just don't worry too much if that's not the case um all right let's talk about these though yeah like we were saying a lot of confirmation a lot of confirmation to what we were looking at before um this person definitely is missing you they're missing your energy they're and they're thinking about this future energy like i said there's a lot of like what it could have should us or we should be this we should have this and um a lot of regrets and I think a lot of guilt here coming from this side of like wanting to it's almost as it's almost as if like this person like when you started slipping out of their hands is when they really started seeing something or when they really started wanting it and it's isn't that just so ironic how that happens all the time but sometimes it takes losing something to really appreciate it 
And um, I'm really interested to see the advice for you because I kind of feel as though you already know what to do. I feel like this person is in this energy because of what, because of your decisions. And of course, I would always say, choose yourself. Um, you know, one of the things that's important to remember, especially like with this type of energy, you know, the, there's strong compatibility here. Even, you know, even maybe like you guys have birth chart compatibility, like whatever the case is. But the most important thing to look at when it comes to compatibility is not your sun signs. It's not your moon signs. It's not your Venus sign. And in fact, it's really not even in your birth chart at all. It's how they treat you and how they show up to this relationship. That's the number one sign of compatibility here. It could look so good on paper. You guys could feel this intense energy. But I think one of the main things for you is to pay attention to where they're able to meet you out in life, like how they show up for you. Like with this right here, I want you to make the first move. Okay, that's great. Of course you do. But, you know, you're worth someone stepping out of their comfort zone to present this to you. You're also worth someone um, loyal as well, too, who treats you the exact way that you deserve to be treated, regardless of whether this is your soulmate or, or not. That's the number one key to really look at and to look into. So on that note, let's go ahead and get some advice. Oh, if you do want to screenshot these channeled messages, go ahead. I would do that right now or rewind a little bit because they are going to be covered. Okay. I was like, da, 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 da. all right, time's up. <laughs> let's go ahead and look at uh, some advice here. For you as a spirit, what advice do we have here for pile one? I don't know why I almost called you pile three twice. And um, this is pile one. I have not even done pile three. So I don't know what's up with that. Maybe I'm just jumping the gun here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I even almost said I was I almost said it again. What the heck? Okay. Pile one. The advice for you. Oh, I love that. Okay, and I'm called to get the bottom of the deck here, too. So, oh, and this one, too. And this one. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So the bottom of the deck is you will fail a lot. Who cares? Keep putting yourself out there. Messing up makes for great stories. I love this. This is something that we all need every once in a while when our ego kind of gets too too caught up in, um, and, and I say ours because everyone's like mine included. Like sometimes we get too caught up in the outcome or like we feel like we have to be perfect or we feel like it has to go a certain way or, or if not, something's wrong with us. And that's just not the case. We're just humans and we make mistakes and we learn from those mistakes and it's trial and error. Our whole lives are like trial and error, you know, and putting yourself out there is the best thing that you can still do for yourself. So, so we have, it's okay to change your mind. When you get new information, reassess your decisions. Be open and flexible. Now, I believe this is definitely in regards to the situation um, about you receiving some sort of information from this person or however you received it. Of course, it does change things. And, it, and it's okay to, you know, it's okay to reassess your whole situation. I know that sometimes it sucks. And sometimes it's... Well, usually most of the time, it's not what we wanted, especially if we have a, you know, goal in mind or we have a future set and things like that. But also just be aware to like the next card is believe what you see the way. And we were just talking about this, too. The way people treat you is their choice and never your fault. They are showing you who they really are. And Spirit's really saying to take it at face value. Don't take it, uh, you know, with well, maybe it was this, or maybe they didn't know, or maybe blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's that all could be true. And yes, these feelings are there. And yes, they want to make it work just as bad as you do. But if you keep ignoring these red flags, you know, until something is resolved within this person or within this situation, you know, until it is resolved, it's going to keep showing up as well, too. And I feel like I, I feel like there's been a lot of truth here revealed to you. And like I said, this isn't something new. I, I like what I was feeling before. Like, I feel like you're already doing what you need to be doing. If anything, this is just confirmation for those hard decisions that we have to make, you know, saying like, hey, you are on the right path. And of course, this is also validation for you feeling the other way as well, too. Like feeling like, you know, this isn't right or feeling like you, you should be doing something else or you know what I'm saying? that's all perfectly natural and i feel like this is just coming up for confirmation to say you you're you're on the right track you're doing what you need to do and i know 
I know that it is hard. Then the next card we have is you don't need to convince people to like you. If they don't get how extraordinary you are, they are not your people. Thank you, next. I love that. I love this little sassy deck. Thank you, next. And this is so true. Yeah, you don't have to, you know, you don't really don't have to show people how wonderful you are. I think um, if I can be 100% honest, Pio One, your absence is already enough to show this person how wonderful you are and how much they took for granted. And I and that's enough. And I feel like one of the biggest things that um, we don't even see is what an impact our absence has on people. It's crazy. Like sometimes we feel like we want to show them we want to prove a point we want to show them but really that's just a disservice to ourselves. Because right now I feel like you're really being asked to just choose you choose yourself. Don't uh, it's basically you're uh, it sounds bad when I say it like this, but it's something that I've learned and it's something that's so true. When we try to prove our worth to other people by saying like, look what you're missing out. Look, I'm like this for you. I could do this for you. What we're really doing is abandoning ourselves. We're abandoning that person inside of us that knows that wants to believe that we're good enough because we don't have to show anyone anything. We don't have to tell them anything. Your silence speaks for itself. Your absence speaks for itself. Hey, you know, you tried, you did this. They completely um, say they completely ruined your trust or anything like that. You know, it's it's what you do then after the fact that you have this truth because you couldn't do anything before it and it's not your fault as well that any of this happened it's you know we all learn and we all go through things but it's what you do after that shows you know how much respect you have for yourself and how much love you truly have for yourself and it's okay if you go back and you make mistakes we've all I'm we've all done that before too you know it's just something that we're gonna learn and I say we as like a collective because I always do collective reading so it's like it's something that we're gonna learn regardless so don't knock yourself for for doing any for making mistakes and, and things like that. And I'm not even speaking for the future of this connection as well, too. I'm only talking about right now. And all you and you know, all you can do is you know, is make the decisions based off what the information that you have right now. But just know, you know, this person realizes it, whether they tell you or not, you know, your worth. And I feel like a lot of it is from your absence and from your silence. And that's not even the point. Yeah, you know, it's a, what it, at the at the end of the day it doesn't even matter what this person realizes. It's also about you. You are the most important person. You are the most important relationship in your life as well too. And actually, on that note, that brings us to our last card. That was so perfect because we have self development isn't for the weak. If you're uncomfortable or triggered, it means you're doing you're doing it right. Becoming a better human is always worth it. And this is all again confirmation for you and validation for your feelings if you're triggered if you're hurt whatever the case is you know just know that this is all about development now i know that's kind of like when you're actually going through something that's kind of like the last thing you want to hear like i would be like oh my gosh i don't care i just don't want to feel like this anymore and i understand that too i completely get where you're coming from too don't don't even worry just know that it's not going to be that way forever that with this development, it comes strength and it comes wisdom and you're not going to be feeling this way forever, no matter how much you may believe it. I promise you it does. It does get better. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. As long as you just keep choosing yourself and choosing what's best for you, you'll be okay. I promise you will be okay. And I love that we still have the sun here too, because I feel like the sun is coming up for you, specifically for you. All right. So now that we have the little advice, I just want to leave on a little affirmation and see what affirmation. Okay, this one seems very telling as well, too. The one that came out for you is, I can release the past and forgive everyone. I free myself and everyone in my life from old past hurts. They are free and I am free to move into new glorious experiences. Now, of course, this is, I feel like this is something that you're going to be doing when you are ready. Of course, I never want to push anyone into like, because I feel like, again, that's invalidating. Like you're allowed to be angry. You're allowed to feel however you feel in that moment. And you're allowed to go through your own grieving process as well, too. But I do believe that this is the outcome. And I believe that is the sun that is coming out for you when you're able to release these things because they do. I know it sounds cliche. I know it does. But really holding on to resentments, they really do keep us tied to 
energies and feelings and people that we don't really want to be tied to. Now, this is a process that's going to happen naturally on its own. So don't put too much pressure on it. You know what I'm saying? And also, um, I think the first step is forgiving yourself, especially if there were things that you feel like you could have done better or like maybe things that you had ignored or any or maybe even like future mistakes you make as well, too. You know, just be be kind to yourself and forgive yourself, because the best thing you can do for yourself is to give yourself the grace to be human and to make mistakes just like it says you will fail a lot who cares you know you, you know messing up makes for great stories messing up is just a part of life we all mess up we all do things and other people mess up too like we hurt people other people hurt us it's just it's a part of life you know and it's things that we will grow from you know i'm hearing like in in years from now you'll kind of maybe even be looking back at like and, and giggling at this, you know, what, whatever that means to the future you as well. Oh, actually, I did just post a future reading. So maybe that could be significant for some of you as well. I just posted messages from your future self. But um, yeah, this is a process that will come naturally. This is this is, you know, what's going to happen for you eventually. Just keep in mind, though, that, you, you know, to release the past, to forgive but also, like I said, it, it, de it depends on where you're at right now in this situation. Like if it's fresh, if it just happened, of course, you're going to be feeling angry. You're going to be feeling sad. You're going to be feeling all of these things that you probably don't want to feel. And that's okay. Like I would never push anyone to be like, oh, you just forgive them. Just forgive. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I feel like that's, uh, you get it. You get it. But for the most part, I feel like you're exactly on track. I feel like you're also doing a great job. Just continue showing up for yourself. Continue validating your feelings. Continue being there for yourself, for your inner self. Don't abandon that little inner child that just wants you to stand up for them and to show them they are worthy as well. Oh, I love you, Pile One. Well, I'm going to end this reading on that note. Thank you so much for um, staying here. Thank you so much. I hope you got something out of it. I hope this helped in any way, shape, or form. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this reading and you would like some more. <laughs> There's plenty more where this came from in the future and that I've already posted. So, um, oh, and a quick shout out and thank you to anyone who supports this channel in any way. And what I mean by support is just liking the video is such an easy way to support this channel. Um, all who share and comment their stories, you know, I feel like you don't even realize sometimes when we share our stories, I see that it has such an impact on other people because they can relate as well too. And I just love that when people relate to other other people's, um, you know, stories, what they're going through, it shows that we truly, truly are never really alone in this world. Even though we may feel alone, there's always someone, you know, who's gone through something or can help us out in any way, shape or form. So yeah, just an appreciation for you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, I will see you guys in the next pick card. Bye. Hi, Pile 2, and welcome to your reading. If you chose the Amethyst Tower, or if you chose the Crybaby Tarot, either way, welcome. So today we are asking about that person on your mind's current thoughts and feelings about you and about the connection here. So I'm going to ask Spirit here to please tune me in to my Pile 2's energy as well as show me how this person is feeling about them and anything else that they may need to know about this person or about this connection, please. Thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So how is this person feeling about Pile 2, please? are their feelings right now for pile two we have judgment they're feeling i feel some sort of regret for some of you i heard i'm sorry interesting we have the king of cups oh there's two cards under there so we have the ace of pentacles we have the king of cups And we have the five of cups. Yeah, so they are kind of focused on some sort of loss right now. They could be grieving this connection for some of you at this time. Um, I feel like they're really feeling like they there is a missed opportunity here with you. And I think with this king of cups, they're trying to be 
mature about this or at least with their feelings um for some of you this could have almost it's ironic that it's coming up with this king of cups because you would think the king of cups is someone that is very emotionally mature and you know can handle things you know in that way but i think there's some emotional avoidance here and the only reason why i'm saying that is because i'm really drawn to the image where she has her back turned to this um whatever that is <laughs> with the cup you know what i'm saying and I think this is also telling too that this person could be keeping a lot of their feelings kind of reserved or to themselves, not showing them to you as well. But they are feeling with this five of cups, a loss for sure. Let's get some clarifiers and then we will talk more about it. We also are going to um, get even more clarification with oracles as well as some channeled messages and then some advice for you too. So, so why is this judgment card here? Spirit, why is this person feeling this judgment card? Mm -hmm. We have the lovers. Oof. This lovers is interesting as well. And we have the lovers and the queen of cups coming out for this. If this person hurt you in any way, this is something that we have the nine of swords. If this person hurt you in any way, this is something that they are definitely regretting because they're feeling the the strength of this connection. And I don't mean like strength as in like, I mean like this is a really strong connection for the lovers to be coming out as well too. Now look at this lover's card here too. This person has their back turned and there's an arrow in it. It's almost as if they have been stabbed in the back in this case, even though I believe this is more along the lines of struck by Cupid's arrow. But with this judgment card, I'm feeling like maybe there was something here that had happened that had caused somebody to pull away. And now this person is kind of facing the consequences of their actions. And I feel like though this judgment was also a chance for them to have a lot of realizations here about what it is they want, how they go about things, their choices, and so on and so forth. Now, I think one of the realizations was the strong feelings that they have for you with this lover's card here. And the fact that we have the queen of cups and the king of cups and the lovers, I feel like this person does feel that you are their significant other or their person or whatever you want to call it, their soulmate. Maybe for some of you, this is a twin flame, just whatever resonates for you. But I feel as though that there was, with this Queen of Cups, there was some sort of hurt feelings involved. And I think that if they, like I said before, if they hurt you, this is something that they definitely regret. Oh, dang it. Come on. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about this Ace of Pentacles now. Now in this, this Ace of Pentacles in this deck, it's like locked up. So they may feel like they're not able to, they want to have some sort of like new opportunity here with you, but they may feel like it's all chained up and it's, it's kind of hard. It's a hard reach, but let's go ahead and talk about it. Let's see. So why is this Ace of Pentacles here? I think what I heard in the beginning, there's a missed opportunity here. Let's see. Why is this Ace of Pentacles? Here, or how they're feeling. Ooh, we have the emperor, and then we have the devil coming out. Interesting. Those two cards coming out together are interesting. Okay, so I feel like right now this person has an opportunity to change, to be better. I feel like with this emperor card, it's almost as if this person has this opportunity to grow from this to make better choices and to be better. But I think right now this person is stuck in some sort of toxic cycles here. This could be addictions. This could be um, just how they're feeling about you as well too. They could be very already. What's interesting is these cards are very similar to pile one. Actually, that's, I'm just realizing that that's really crazy. But regardless, it doesn't matter. You don't have to go to pile one when you're here already. <laughs> so we'll talk about it here. Anyways, I feel as though, oh, we have the eight of cups at the bottom too. Okay, I feel as though with this emperor and this devil, it's like this person wants, 
this new opportunity. This person wants to change. This person wants to be better. They're, they want to be that person that you need them to be, but they still feel so stuck and tied into old patterns, old ways, old addictions, things like that, that are kind of sabotaging them from making these better choices. And I think that's why this opportunity is to kind of locked up. It's like they're realizing that it's, this change is going to be a lot harder than they expected. And with that being said, it's like I said, it's a far reach. Now, what I'm hearing is that this person may take this opportunity regardless of whether they have overcome this energy or not. And that's going to be for your discernment to decide if this person is worthy of another chance, if this person is worthy of your time, attention, and so on and so forth. That's a message coming out for you as well, too. But I feel like this person with the emperor here, especially the way that this image is, it's like this person wants to be the person... On, it's like deep down this person wants to be that person that you need them to be but they have this like little tricker trickster energy kind of coming through where it's like they have this mask there's even like a mask they kind of look alike too but I think they're different people but it's, that's underneath it's like these things underneath that are stopping them from being successful with this all right clarifying this king of cups why is this king of cups here We have the world and then we have the ace of swords and then the fool there's a whole i'm not there's i'm not putting all these down there's like 20 cards but so the ace of swords is truth is clarity it's kind of a breakthrough here and the world is like different perspective but it's also an ending And I think this is them seeing things a lot differently right now. I feel like with the world here, it's almost as if like they felt like they, they could feel like they had the world with you or they have the world with you. But also I feel like this is a different perspective, almost kind of getting to zoom out from this person and seeing things as a, as a bigger picture. And that could just be like what they're feeling right now, what they're kind of thinking right now is like, okay, they're seeing it in a different light or in a different picture here. Now, also with the world, it's completions, it's endings as well, too. And so I think right now, because we had the full card coming through and then we had that Ace of Swords, which could also be a breakthrough in communication right now, they don't they, they don't want this to end. They don't want it to end like this or they they're not they feel like they're not done as well. But they're also kind of being very reserved and not doing maybe like not saying how they feel at the same time. Like with this King of Cups, it's like they're trying to be strong and put their emotions to the side. Yeah. All right, and let's talk about this Five of Cups then. So why is this Five of Cups here for how this person is feeling? Yeah, because that makes sense. Because then after that, we have the Five of Cups, which is this grieving. It's loss. We have the Ten of Wands. Wow. Oops. That's the second... <laughs> I did that in another I did that on the other pile too. Why do I keep doing this? I swear that probably looked like it was on purpose because it felt like I just went eh. <laughs> Maybe they feel like they're falling apart here as well too. Like they're trying to act like they have their stuff together and that's why it feels like that's so funny because it and then oh I just flipped it over and said you're grumpy. This person's definitely very moody about this too. Um they're trying to act like they're holding it all together and and then you know at certain times they kind of feel like they're falling apart and also it, this is something that burdens them it's something that they're really holding on to is these feelings of loss and i feel like maybe there's some there's some negative emotions here um about connections and about relationships in general that are kind of weighing this person down holding them back from um you know with that full energy coming out kind of freeing themselves because the full energy is a very free freedom like i'm free i don't have anything to worry about type of energy i'm free from all my burdens you know because the full card's in the beginning so it's like you haven't even reached that point <laughs> yet and so um and that's why it's an innocence as well too so i think that maybe this person has a certain outlook on specific on connections right now that are kind of stopping them it's like you know they're like well this isn't going to work out for me anyways it never does or or this person's just gonna leave me like everybody else like that kind of 
that kind of energy here as well that they're kind of carrying a lot of things with them a lot of losses to where it's like they're like oh well I was expecting this to end anyways I was expecting this and it's not saying that this is what they wanted because I don't think that they're facing these feelings right now um to say the least they could be in some sort of addictive patterns and things like that here that are kind of a distraction as well now this devil could also be that they still feel very much attached to you even though they're trying to and that's why maybe they want this new opportunity or they've been thinking about this new opportunity because the devil energy is also a strong codependency so i think that it's almost this energy that I'm feeling like this person's trying to pull away or like it was trying to pull away and they still feel very attached at the same time. And it's like they're kind of going around in circles, kind of running around in circles of like, this is what I want, denial, you know what I'm saying, distractions, things like that. Oh, look at speaking of that, we have the Ace of Wands at the bottom too, which is again, a pa it's a passionate energy. It's like, a you know, there is a fire there, a spark there. But I think this person isn't in the best mindset. Oopsies, excuse me. This person's not in the best mindset right now for connections. Let's see what the oracles do. All right, spirit. So what else can you tell us about how this person is feeling towards pile two, please? So we have the woman holding a coin, which is interesting because this this Ace of Pentacles is chained up and you're holding it right here. So they could feel like you have the power right now in this connection. The ball's in your court because of the fact that it's like locked up and they're like, OK, but, you know, pile two has it doesn't matter if you're a woman or not. It's just don't worry about the gender. But yeah, they're like, you have you you have it. Also, this is also very much Queen of Pentacles energy coming through as well, too. Like, they do feel like you are someone who, the way they're feeling about you is someone who I feel like, I think when they compare themselves to you, whether this is true or not, they feel like you are someone who has it all together. Um, and also, you have a lot to offer and you have a lot of value within yourself, too. Like, you're, it's... I guess I don't really need to explain it more because that's kind of, I, I was trying to think of another way to explain it, but I'm like, that's pretty much self-explanatory. Like you do have a lot to offer and you are of a very high value to them. But also, you know, that first message of like this, this opportunity, but like you have it. And so they could feel like the, like we said before, the ball is in your court. You kind of have the power um, with your decisions. And that could definitely be in regards to this judgment here. I heard that, oh my gosh, we have the magic. I was just gonna say, I heard that they don't like feeling powerless to this. And as we have, we have this one in reverse, which is the magician in the mirror, which is all about your own personal power. That is crazy. I feel like they don't like that. They feel very uncomfortable with that. And I think that's with that emperor too. They kind of like being in control. They like having control of the situation. They like having control of how you view them and how you see them. Now it seems like some sort of mask has come off. You're seeing something in a different light and now it's up to you. And I th they don't like that because now they can't control the outcome of of this situation but they never could control the outcome of the situation anyways it's a false sense of control and it's an illusion to say the least but um it was making them feel better at one point in time when they were able to control like something here interesting that how that came out at the same time though how is this person feeling towards pile two Let's get one more and then we'll we'll head on to the channeled messages oh yeah desire for sure there's a lot of sexual energy here and then at the bottom we have guilt sacral chakra energy for sure um yeah they're very attracted to you there's a lot of sexual energy but also this is about their desire here as well too they do desire you they desire to make this work and we have the lovers too. You know, they are very passionate here about you. They do have these feelings for here. We have self-esteem. I possess the gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So yeah, this person could have taken some sort of blow to their ego and their self-esteem could be something that gets away, gets in the way of this connection. For an example of self-esteem getting in the way of this connection, this person could be in their ego and they could, their self-esteem could depend on outer, outer people's and other people's validation. Well, if you're, 
in a connection, you know, with somebody and you still need validation from other people and not just your own partner, you know, then that's obviously going to get in the way that's going to cause like cheating or, you know, or, you know, other sneaky stuff messaging as well, too. So that's something and then this person could just naturally have like a low self esteem, regardless of how they look. I know you'd be so surprised, but some of the most, if you find this person really good looking, some of the most good looking people in the world have such a low self esteem because they're used to uh, and I'm not speaking for every good looking person. Don't get me wrong. I'm only speaking for one certain aspect of this. Um, and that's because they're used to only getting validation from the outside. And it works when you're good looking and you grow up and everyone tells you how beautiful you are, how handsome you are. It works for the most part. But but then you have to kind of sit with yourself and be like, well, is that all? There has to be more. And, and sometimes for some people, it's kind of a struggle. Um, I was going to say something else too about this self-esteem oh yeah so um this person like if you did decide to walk away or whatever had happened here within the situation like i think that there was a blow to this person's self-esteem to their ego at the same time too and then i love how the guilt says i, I release any beliefs that no longer assist my soul's growth Oh, and then love, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Like, yeah, the, that five of cups is like, I need to see the good in all things. I need to see, maybe see something in a more positive light, have a little more faith. But I also believe that that five of cups is coming too, because this person feels a loss. They are going through something as well too. And it's heavy, it's heavy stuff. It could be bringing up more issues than just the surface as well too, with that 10 of wands. Yeah, but it seems like this person is holding on to this guilt or holding on to something because they feel as though it could have it should have changed the outcome or it could have been different or it should have been different. And I think there was something deeper underneath this person's actions that weren't just like, oh, well, I can just do this or, oh, I can just change and be this person. Like, I don't think this person realizes how much how deep those roots may go. And um, it could have, you know, could be a form of sabotage, like subconsciously as well, too. But all in all, though, they, they view you as someone who's very high value, has a lot to offer, a soulmate even with the lovers, and they are very attracted to you and they feel this desire for you as well, too, because we had that ace of, ace of wands at the bottom of this deck here, too. But there's a lot of, there's like a lot of sticky stuff. And I, that's, I don't know how else to describe it, but it's like murky stuff that this person's feeling. So let's go ahead and get some channeled messages. Oops. I always thought those were going to fall. So we have, I'm always busy. We also have, I'm broke right now and I'm insecure about it, which is interesting because right after that love, we have financial constraints. So yeah, that's, this person is kind of going through some money problems. And with this, I'm always busy. This could be like this person always kind of working. And also this could be this person distracting themselves as well too from this. If that could have been a problem, like this person was like, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And they never made time for you. That's another form of self-sabotage as well, too, um, especially if this is something that they really wanted. It's like, you know, why would you do that? And also people always, it doesn't matter what people say. I mean, of course, like if you're at work all day or you're busy all day and you literally aren't allowed to have your phone, you know what I'm saying? There's breaks, there's time, there's, there's after, there's things like that. If this person did not show enough effort, there, I just want to remind you that there is no excuse for that. People, you know make time and like i said not always though like you like i said like there's jobs where you can't have your phone you can't do this and you know you can't do that and that's perfectly understandable too but that's only a, a part of the day there's always the other part but i do think that this person distracts themselves from feeling by keeping busy this person may seem like they have a lot going on but it's really just because they are always kind of running around <laughs> For some of you okay let's go ahead and get some more channel messages here i regret so many things yeah like probably not giving you enough time probably making really stupid decisions okay so we have are you who you say you are? 
trust issues for sure trust issues that's definitely i think that negative outlooks on relationships as well too and then we have i'm starting to fall for you so i got an interesting message here with this i'm starting to fall for you and what that was is that when this person started to to get these really intense feelings it's almost as if they weren't ready for the intensity of this connection and how they were going to feel which kind of caused them to be insecure which caused them to run which caused them to self-sabotage it's like the second they knew that they were like really starting to fall because when emphasis on the fall falling in love can be scary because it's quite literally falling into the unknown you don't know what's the outcome's going to be you don't know if you're going to get hurt you know all of this it's it's a trust fall. And I think this person definitely has trust issues with that as well, too. We see this in the are you who you say you are. I don't know if I can trust you. I feel like I have to watch my back. Or um, I'm hearing that this person may felt have felt in a way that they always had to be like two steps ahead, ten steps ahead, you know. And that's because... Um, they felt like they have to protect them, protect themselves. And that's no way to go into a connection, you know, or it's not a good foundation to set up a connection on, on fear. I want you to make the first move. I'm embarrassed that I acted so immature. Is there still a chance? Let's get one more. One more message from this person, please. Oops. I don't know how I feel. And I want to look good for you. Bottom of the deck, we have, I wanted to reach out, but I kept stopping myself. And then we have, I'm struggling mentally right now. Interesting. Yeah, I think that this person is kind of going, I think we said that, I, if I remember correctly. But honestly, I can never remember correctly. But I think we said that this person is kind of going through some mental stuff right now. Um... I definitely feel like this person was kind of hoping for that new opportunity, like they they would want to take it. But I think that they're struggling to come forward themselves. And okay, spirits being a little blunt here with you, pile two, for whatever reason. Spirits saying that, and as I was saying, they're struggling to come forward yourself. Spirit said, and that's not your problem, which it's not. None of this is your problem, to be honest. But like their actions i mean like obviously not how you feel or anything like that but their actions is not your fault and it's not your problem um it's theirs and it's their it seems to be their fault but i don't want to put all whole blame because i don't know everything this is just a just, just a little 30 minute reading i can't say that but from what i'm feeling it feels like this person kind of screwed up themselves and with that being said you know there's this uncertainty but there's also this fear and what I'm seeing here with this you with this um, I want to look good for you but I, I kept reaching out but I kept stopping myself and all of this of like embarrassment there's this person is still very much in their ego um, if this person you know kind of put their ego to the side and just was free and you know able to express themselves and show up in a relationship the way that you deserve and the way that you know a relationship would need then they would be able to approach you. They'd be able to approach you honestly. They'd be able to address these issues. They'd be able to fix them. They would be able to understand themselves more, why they were able to do it. And it just seems to me that this person is not able to do that right now. There's a little immaturity coming through emotionally when it comes to this person. We can see that as well. And like, I don't know how to feel. I feel like this person um, gets overwhelmed and confused by feelings and they kind of hold back with that king of cups as well too it's like the king of cups is like i want to be really reserved i'm not going to say how i feel well you know if you're not going to say how you feel then how is the other person going to know you know you can't just always watch pick a cards on how they feel that's not fair you know you deserve someone pile two who's able to express themselves to you on how they feel and what's going to happen and, and you know what they want and to be honest about where they're able to meet you but I, either, regardless or not if this person is honest about where they're able to meet you the truth shows itself in their actions and what they've shown so you've been shown the truth on right now on the where this person's able to meet you um just at this point in time so also there was a message too in the other pile about taking things at face value and i feel like that is in regards here too there was another message too that in the other pile that was really um really cool and it was about you know compatibility like when we were talking about you know there you know on paper you can be so compatible with somebody your birth charts the energy you know how you feel 
But the biggest compatibility sign that some people overlook is how they're treating you. That's all that really matters. It doesn't matter. You guys can be like the most perfect, 100% compatible, um, you know, on paper. But if they don't treat you the way that you deserve, if they're not able to treat you and show up for you with respect and, and express themselves, then that's that's the compatibility right now, you know? And it's a tough pill to swallow at times. And I'm not trying to be, I feel like I'm, I feel like I am being a little bit harsh here, but I'm sorry. I, and if that's true, I don't mean to be, you just know, just know I always uh, am one to validate your feelings. And of course, you know, there's, there's other things involved too. It's not always black and white. It's not always that easy, of course, of just being able to be like, oh, well, they showed me this. Okay, now I know. You know what I'm saying? I completely understand all sides of that too. Don't get me wrong. But at the end of the day, there is a truth. There is uh, something that we all can see and that's people's energy and that's people's actions. Okay, so on that note, let's go ahead and get some advice for you. Ask an expert, get insights, feedback, and instruction from a professional. You don't have to have, I feel like it's emphasis on this. Like right now you don't have to have all of the answers and that's okay. Yeah, you don't have to know how it's going to end or what it's going to be or things like that. I feel like right now you're really just being asked. And maybe with this ask an expert, this is about going to a trusted source, source for advice. Um, this could be a friend. This could be a family um, maybe for some of you, you do get insights from friends and family on this person. And, you know, uh, if they're trusted sources, for sure, then I would, I would take their advice. Oh, and then look at, we have welcome the truth. Oh, I felt like I was, I felt like what I was saying was kind of harsh because maybe it's, because it's painful sometimes, but like, I, but this kind of comes as in validation for you as well too and and kind of that what we were just talking about it says honesty can be painful make you mad and even scare you but you are strong and can handle it you are so strong and you can handle it sometimes we kind of feel like when we're presented with information or we hear certain things it's like we can't handle it but just know pile two that you are a resilient resilient human you are and you ha are capable of handling so much now you're not deserving of handling so much like of course that's when the self-love kind of steps in and it's like all right this is all i can take i'm not taking this anymore i need to do what's best for me now just because you can handle something doesn't mean that you have to at the same time too but just know that you're capable of overcoming any obstacles anything that presents itself to you whether how no matter how painful it can be it's never go it's not going to break you you will never be broken. You will always overcome. You will always survive. Okay. I believe in you. Spirit believes in you. There's nothing that you can't do. Okay. You're amazing. And don't ever forget that. I said that. I wonder like the way my tone sounded when I said that. It sounded like a threat. I was like, don't ever forget that. <laughs> so funny how sometimes we like say saying say things and they sound different like sometimes like if i if i have like allergies or something people are like they're like you sound upset you sound sad in this reading just because maybe i don't sound like how i normally do and i'm like that's so funny because i was perfectly fine that you know it comes off that way and just know oh just know too that if if that's ever the case like if i ever if i'm ever not feeling good like mentally or anything I, i'm not doing a reading so you don't have to worry about that <laughs> you, you will not see me here <laughs> because that's not fair to you that's not fair to me like it 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 bleeds into the readings you know it, it's no okay leave your face alone breakouts happen your face will recover resist the pick now this has come out a couple times for people who say that they are like quite literally like picking their face or like in the future they'll be like oh my gosh yeah i just got like this huge zit and now i i remember that and now i'm gonna leave it alone that's perfectly true too but i think that this is saying that also and metaphorically Things are going to come up when they need to come up and they will come out when they need to come out. You don't have to dig. You don't have to pick into situations, especially if you're feeling very vulnerable. OK, so if you're feeling very vulnerable and you want to know answers, maybe it's not the best time. Maybe you should, you know, focus on nurturing yourself before you kind of like put salt in, in a wound, I guess you would say. 
Oh, right under that, we have spend your energy on, or something worth it. Don't go where you're not invited because it says don't be stocky. Now, I don't think you're stocky. This is a, just a sassy little worded deck. That's, don't take offense to that. It means I think that's exactly just confirmation for like, don't look into things if you're not feeling your best. Sometimes the truth will present itself to you when you need it, okay? Just take care of how you're feeling right now. You're the most important person I feel right now in your life and you deserve to feel good and you deserve to be nurtured and loved and taken care of. And if you're the one that needs to do it, then so be it because you can't expect other people to do it. And I'm, and I'm saying that in like a, just a, not to be mean at all. I'm saying that like, we can't, we can't. When we give other people power, and I'm saying we is because you know, me too. When we give other people power, um, to control how we feel, you know, we kind of, we end up disappointed because people are humans and people will disappoint. <sighs> Don't roll your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever's rolling their eyes right now at that. Just kidding. But it says, don't roll your eyes, disrespect, microaggressions, and rudeness. Just piss people off. Keep your attitude in check. There's a message here as well, too, of like, and it's hard. Okay, I have to word it correctly. Um, of course, you know, sometimes we come off if we're, if we're feeling, okay, the first message is if we're feeling irritated by other things sometimes we take it out on the people around us that we don't even mean to and there's a message here to try to be compassionate with other people or be aware of like how especially if you're going through something and i know i can even do that as well too the people we love the most people around us the most we kind of just they we take it out on them and they're not they we don't mean to so be aware of that as well as there was a message here for specifically for somebody to almost it's better if you now I got it. Now I feel like that's not right. But I, this could be for a specific person. It's almost better with this situation here if you act like you don't care. Now I don't, and I mean by, it's like not not making sure, not letting this person know one hundred percent that they got the best of you. Now I'm not saying not expressing your feelings if that comes up. You're always should always be able to express your feelings and things like that. But it's like has something to do with this person's ego. So I'm just going to leave that as a careful message. That's not for everybody. And to take, obviously, if you feel like you would feel like that's for you. But it's like they're almost like their ego gets fed a little bit when they know you're upset. So to watch that as well, too. Just a specific message. Oh, and then look, we have don't take things so personally. Oh, I love that it says go for a walk, too, on there. Like if you're, if you find yourself kind of obsessing or very upset or something, do something that makes you kind of clears your head a little bit. That's always, that's always great advice. All right. So last but not least, we're going to get an affirmation for you. So what affirmation? Oops. That one wants to come out. Oops, and that one. All right. Let's see what affirmations we got for you. Okay, so the first one we have is my work is deeply fulfilling. Today, I give my best to that which I do, knowing that when one experience, oh, knowing that when one experience is complete, I am led to even more fulfilling and rewarding experiences. Oh, I love that. That's so like whether it's for your work or not, it's like when you put your work and your effort into a situation and you've done all that you can, you know, and, and maybe there's endings or there's things that didn't work out the way you wanted it to. It's always such a great reminder to know that there's so much more like your life just because one thing's ending or kind of one thing's kind of paused does not mean that it's the end. Like there's so much more experiences for you to experience as well too. And I love that it's even, it says there's even more fulfilling and rewarding experiences out there. I love that. And that's a great reminder for all of us too, especially when we get so caught up in, in a certain situation, it's almost like we get this tunnel vision and we're only focused on one thing and one outcome as well. And we forget that there's a whole life out there. Like, you know, there's a whole experiences and you know, so many people we have yet to meet so many experiences that we've yet to do so many jobs that we haven't had and all of these other things too, that not everything is just so one one track minded and that's such a it's and like i said it's a great reminder for all of us because 
we tend to focus and dwell as people. It just, it's, it's natural. Okay, and then this last one we have is, I am at peace with my sexuality. I rejoice in my sexuality and in my own body. My body is perfect for me in this lifetime. I embrace myself with love and compassion. Oh yeah, you're perfect just the way you are. You're so sexy, Pile 2, and you're, you're hot, um, apparently, enough. Don't worry about any insecurities or any little things, you know. Of course, if you feel like you want to fix things or be healthier, go ahead. There's nothing wrong with wanting to look good either. But embracing your own sexuality and your own body and the body that you're in right now and loving it because it kept you alive is really, it's such a beautiful and to be grateful for your own body. And you know what makes it so weird, but this could help you as well too. What makes me so weirdly grateful for my body is when I like watch videos, like like educational videos of like what your body does naturally. Like what I mean by that is like, okay, so like say you're watching a video of like, how your body breaks down food how, how it's like we just eat food and then we walk away and our bodies just naturally do this on their own they like break down everything they take like okay i don't even remember like the the exact terms they take the glucose they take this they take this they process your body processes this it stores this you know it feeds your muscles this it's like and this goes for our brains our hearts are pumping automatically our cells are cleaning out automatically um our bodies are, are little geniuses and so smart that we don't even have to tell them what to do. They just do things naturally. And by, and I know that sounds so random, but it's because that's like, it's worked for me by like watching things on our bodies and like realizing what they actually do makes me so grateful that I'm just like, wow, like our bodies are little warriors. Like they are so cool and amazing. <laughs> and I do believe that our cells are connected to source as well too so that's why we always talk about like on a cellular level our, our cells are, are connected to source so when we meditate and we you can communicate with your cells as well and um ask your body to do things for you ask your body to show you things and just pay attention sometimes it comes up as pain sometimes it comes up as a feeling sometimes it comes up as a jerk whatever it is just you can always communicate with your body as well too don't forget that um too and um yeah i think that was it we don't have any more so i'm going to leave this reading here for you <laughs> i don't know why i feel like there's something else i was gonna do so i'm like am i gonna leave this reading here yeah oh well um thank you so much for staying till the end thank you so much for joining me today and letting me read for you and thank you so much to anyone who supports this channel in any way whether that's liking the video uh subscribing um commenting and sharing your story i love it so much and i love hearing from all of you and i just can't thank you guys enough i'm so grateful for every single one of you and i can't wait to see you guys in the next reading bye hi pile three welcome to your reading if you chose the labradorite moon faces i don't know if you can even see the flash oh well if you chose the moon face or if you chose the anima mundi tarot either way welcome to your reading so today we are asking about that person on your mind's current thoughts and feelings towards you so i'm going to ask spirit here to please tune me in to my pile three situation as well as show me in pile three how this person is currently feeling about them and anything else that may need to come up at this time, please. Thank you. How are they feeling about Pile 3 right now? At the time, Pile 3 is watching this. I keep hearing that song um, <laughs> that I think it's Iggy. No, it's not Iggy Azalea. Who is it? Azalea Banks. And she's like... Hey, and how does it go? I'm just hearing that intro, like that, hey, hi, hello, what's up? <laughs> it could be for the song or it could just be the intro, like they want to see how you're doing, like, hey, they've been trying to reach out to you. Okay, so the first card we have is the Page of Pentacles. The next card we have is the Eight of Swords. Okay. We have 
the nine of swords in reverse wow Ooh, yeah this person has a lot of anxiety right now about you and about this connection um i'm assuming it's about where this connection is going because we're the page of pentacles the development of this connection they could be kind of this is that's the card that really signifies growth for me and growth can definitely be something that's very uncomfortable so let's see what's really going on here with this person why are they feeling this way spirit we have strength wow okay let's clarify this page of pentacles why is this page of pentacles here we have the moon we also have the chariot in reverse okay interesting so we have we have leo energy coming through with the strength but we also have we have a lot of cancer energy this could definitely just be emotions right now because we do have a moon right here too so this person it could be feeling very emotional as well as um because cancer is ruled by the moon and then we have the chariot card which is for cancer but we also have pisces here too because technically the moon card is pisces so that could just mean there's a lot of emotions going on within this person and they could be trying to be strong about it or it's just taking a lot of personal strength because that's not always easy you know so let's see why is the eight of swords here though can you tell us about the eight of swords this person is feeling very almost powerless in, in a way and i feel like it's because they may not it's like they underestimate themselves and what it is that they're capable of like their own personal power what is what i mean by that because it's like what i, I was kind of thinking about what is this chariot in reverse about and then it's they were like do i have what it takes which is interesting okay so we have the five of pentacles in reverse we have the seven of wands as well as the magician Ooh. I do believe this person just is dealing right with their own kind of insecurities right now. So we have the Knight of Swords coming through at the bottom, which is about them expressing how they feel, expressing this to you. This is about them saying things, um, maybe even a little abruptly. I believe this is a hawk as well, too, which is a very... I don't know what i was gonna say with that or what that had to do with anything i'm so sorry <laughs> i was gonna say this is a, a very spiritual sign a very spiritual omen so but i think with that hawk there actually now that i asked about it i'm hearing they may be trying to get a different perspective at the same time too because hawks can represent getting a higher perspective and seeing things clearly since you know there's like that phrase of like oh they have eyes like a hawk they could be just very very much focused on you trying to figure something out trying to find something out which i can see that being possible here with this now I feel like this person has been triggered by you. This person, their insecurities are starting to come up to the surface. We have that page of pentacles and we have that moon um, subconscious things coming up for growth. We have this, whether this is because things aren't going the way that they wanted it to go. It's very triggering with that chariot in reverse. And then we have the eight of swords with this five of pentacles. They almost feel like right now they're not good enough for you. Or there's something going on here where they don't have... They feel like we, oh, I was just going to say what I heard. They feel like they don't have what it takes. This could be their own insecurity. You could intimidate them. And also there, for some of you, there could be some sort of separation here because this person could be feeling very left out right now. There's like some abandonment issues that I think they're kind of avoiding here. And um, regardless of avoiding, they're definitely coming up. So now we have, a, and then we have the nine of swords and we have the seven of wands, which is like, all right, I kind of want to put these fears to the side and I want to push through, but there is that resistance. I think this person wants to kind of stand and fight for this connection, stand tall. And whether or not there was conflict here, I feel like there's a lot of, like, they, meet, they need to defend themselves. There's a lot of overthinking here as well, too. Maybe taking some information a little bit too personally as well here is like kind of what I'm seeing. But then at the end, you know, we have strength and we have the magician. So what this is telling me is that regardless of whatever is going on within them, because I feel like right now this person mentally is kind of going through some stuff emotionally. They're definitely going through some stuff right now. They could have a lot going on in other ways, but a lot of it has to do with emotions and, and 
insecurities and if I'm not good enough, can we do this? Can Is it going to be what I think? Am I going to be rejected? All of these things seem to be coming for the, up to the surface for this person to kind of deal with and decide that decide regardless that they are in control they have the power to and what i mean by they are in control and they have the power is you know they need to decide what it is that they want and go for it rather as letting the things the other things get the best of them because with this strength comes power with this magician here as well too so i think this is this person feeling like they should overcome these things trying to manifest this situation um and create something because the magician is the creator so it's like the strength is saying well i can create this i can do this i have all that i need and another part of them is saying i don't have it i don't have enough i need more i need more of this i need more money I need to look better i need you know what i'm saying or whatever the case is it's very interesting it's a conflicting energy by by what they want and and all of these things it's almost as if you've kind of started some sort of tower moment within this person pile three it's like and I don't think you did this on purpose, but it's like all of a sudden now things are crumbling and they're realizing all of these other things. And it's like, they're very shook, very shook. What do we have under here? We have the six of pentacles. Okay. Deciding whether or not to give too much, kind of scared to, to almost scared to give too much here with, because they're scared that they're not going to get it back in return or, or it's going to be okay okay so what i'm hearing from spirit is that this person has a lot a, a, a lot of difficulties trusting themselves and and trusting what it is that they want so whether or not this is uh, you know in the beginning stages or whatever they're starting to feel things they're starting to fall for you they're starting to realize things um and that's coming and a lot of these things subconsciously that they were kind of avoiding or didn't even have to deal with are starting to come up now due to this now i think this is divinely guided i think this is meant to be this way i know even though it seems to be a struggle and it seems to be really hard and it seems like this person is going through a lot regardless or not i feel like the the end goal is for them to develop this strength and man you know and manifest what they want the the magician is the the make it happen captain he's the master manifester he's the one who knows that he has what he needs to create what he wants and i think this is like the end goal here and i'm hearing that this person feels this way a lot of the time and it's like they feel this way at one point in time and then all of a sudden this other stuff comes up as well too that's interesting. Okay, what else can you tell us about how this person is feeling, Spirit? About Pile 3. What are some other thoughts and feelings here towards Pile 3, please? I can't, oh my gosh, I keep singing that song. <laughs> so we have the world here. Wow. This could be why. I feel like this person is viewing you almost like they have, this could be like indication of them having the world with you or they have, you know, the potential. I feel like this is a card of seeing so much potential here and having everything that you could possibly want. And it, with that in turn, that can be something so scary. And that's why these things are triggered and coming up. And I feel like for um, the majority of this pile, this person, like a lot of these are kind of hidden. A lot of these things are like they don't know why they're feeling this way and because this is like subconscious things coming up to the surface of like all right well you want this you feel like you can handle this you feel like you can pursue this well you got to deal with this first and a lot of this is triggered by all the potential that they see here so we have forgiveness i acknowledging that harboring harboring resents blocks the flow of love and this makes a lot of sense too. So a lot of these things are from past situations, past times, maybe their trust was hurt, um, past times, you know, they were deceived and things like that. These are all kind of coming up to the surface for this person's um, ego or this person's doubts and fears are telling them, well, why would this be any different? Why is this, this isn't going to be the way they want it to be. And then that's why I believe we have the sun coming up in reverse as well, too. It's like, there's a brighter, there's a whole brighter side to this situation that they sense and they know of too. It's like, they're sensing it. They know it can be there or else they wouldn't be feeling this way. But I think right now, this person maybe has some sort of outlook on connections or, or partners right now due to past pains. And that's why this is saying this resentment is kind of coming up again. And it is below blocking them from flowing here in this connection they're like oh well you know you i got 
tremendously hurt in the last connection or even if this is this person that you have a specific past with as well too you know like this could have been whatever had happened in the past with you but i'm feeling this is i'm feeling for this person because it is so so deep uh, deeply rooted i feel as though this could go back to even parental figures this could go back it, it's a it's a deeper root than just this connection bottom of the deck we have action here which would be that knight of swords so this person does want to take action towards you they do feel drawn to you this is like the eight of swords as well too and then look with this it's the number i'm drawn to the number which is the number 17 we have a bird up here too but this is um the number 17 which is the number of the star which is the card of hope and faith taking that action and just hoping that it works out the way that it's meant to work out well this person seems to be blocking themselves a bit or at least, at least very skeptical because their outlook isn't as hopeful as maybe it once was or maybe it's as it should be horses in this in this case represent freedom as well too freedom to express yourself in the way that you would like to too and i think that this eight of swords and this nine of swords is is coming as a restriction not not really expressing themselves the way that they want to due to certain insecurities here with this five of pentacles there's a definite fear of rejection and there's a definite fear of abandonment and a fear of failure here as well too so this person and i think what this person is needing to do is is you know sit with this overcome it these things are coming up to be overcome but it depends on each of your situation if this person is in a runner energy then they're not able to do that right now and that's kind of you would know obviously it's a general reading depending on how this person is showing up for you at this time and we have worry i am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome yeah this person is so has so much anxiety guys about this connection here it's interesting but you know what's at the same time this worry and this fear means that there is a lot that this person doesn't want to lose at the same time if that makes sense it's like this fear and this worry wouldn't be there if they didn't want this so bad and with this magician here a lot of times when that comes up in love readings it means that this person does want you they're trying to manifest you or i mean that's just kind of like the term that you would put it up but it's like yeah they want you and they have to be strong they have to overcome this in order you know to tell you this or to make this happen or to show you and it's and i think it's hard for this person when all of these other things are kind of coming up at the same time and when spirit gave me that message of they don't know if they can trust themselves i think what causes more confusion and more illusion here is the fact that these feelings are coming up like sometimes we have to sit down and we have to remind ourselves just because we feel something does not mean that it's true just because we you know we feel something does not mean that that's gonna happen at the same time and i think that there's a lot of grounding that this person needs to do and um i'm not saying that that's imp impossible for this person to do like i said these are coming up for a reason and this is only and then guys also this is only a reading about how they're feeling right now at the time you're coming across it things could change of course but it's um these are definitely coming up to tell to remind you to show you that this person i think is is going through this they're they're feeling this and you know for some of you you could may maybe feeling this too as well if it's mirroring Okay, let's get like one or two more of these and then we will get the channel messages i feel like this for this pile this connection this connection this pile is flying through for some reason okay so we have relationships i am attracted to those people who serve my higher good get one more oh god i saw storm the storm coming the storm warning which usually means it's internal and we can kind of see that as well too in these cards and from the messages let's get one more card for this blame oh we have patience okay so bottom of the deck we have death which is i'm learning that endings are merely beginnings and i believe this is about letting go of these old things these old patterns and things with this death card now yeah, and for some of for some of you this death is like just because things didn't work out in the past does not mean that they won't ever work out in the future. You know, I think this person 
is a little one track minded right now and they're kind of focused on what can go wrong what had happened wrong they may be basing things off the past past relationships or even past here and that's kind of getting in, in the way of the potential and the hope in the in the future of of this and it's clouding their mind i think that this person is letting these illusions kind of get to the best of them and like i said the illusions would be these unwanted feelings these fears these doubts those things are, are illusions they come up and they um can sometimes redirect us in a way that isn't beneficial but let's talk about these cards here so we have blame which is i accept responsibility for my well-being this is an important one that i think that this person could you know i think this person blames a lot of their feelings on other people and that's something that that a lot of us unknowingly do until we bring awareness to it until it, it usually comes across comes a a part in the self um, evolution journey when you start working on yourself or healing and shadow work you know all of that kind of stuff that's kind of when we realize that we're giving our power away by blaming other people for how we feel well i feel like this person is still in that energy of like well if you do this it's it's your fault that i'm hurt and you're gonna hurt me and and all of this when in reality you know what this person could do is shift the focus off of the you 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 and say why am i feeling this way where is this coming from why does this upset me why do I get so triggered by this? And I think that is in turn something that would be very helpful and healing to redirect that, oh, you did this, you, you know, it's your fault because you can't do anything about what other people do. So really, if you just point fingers and you blame, you don't get anywhere because, you know, no one's ever going to act the way you want them to act perfectly because we're human and we disappoint people and we do things, you know, we're selfish sometimes. We we don't understand sometimes. We make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? So you can't always put the power in other people's hands because that's just disappointment you know and that goes for anybody and so what i think this person is needing to do is take that blame and like we've said and kind of turn that finger around and be like oh my gosh i am doing this i acted like this because i was insecure i acted out of turn because i was triggered you know it's like well again we can only control ourselves now i love that patience comes out here too though because i do believe this patience card is coming out to say in due time this person will have some sort of realizations whether it's to that extent or whatever in due time i think this person wants you to have patience with them and i think this person kind of wants to have patience with this situation as well too because i feel like the faster it goes the more anxiety this person gets and the kind of scarier it gets and so i think that this person is hoping that you would be patient with them now i don't know the severity of the situation that is obviously my friend up to you to decide because again you only you can control yourself so of course um i'm gonna leave that up to you to decide if you feel like you you know to be patient to wait it's different for everybody there you know you've gone through things probably different than the other person you know what i'm saying it's like your discernment as well but yeah, I think that this person is like, in due time, I can open up. In due time, maybe I, I will be able to feel this way and stuff. But also there's a message coming from spirit that it's not your job to convince anyone that you're worthy of that as well too. So be mindful of that pile three. Um, I'm sorry if I'm talking really fast. There seems there's a lot of messages coming through for you. And I could that makes sense why earlier I was like, this pile is like flying by. Well, they're coming out like a mile a minute. This person may have a lot of things that they, you know, wish they could say to you or at least address or there's just a lot of messages coming through. So, so sorry if I'm talking a little too fast. I happen to do that. Um, but anyways, <laughs> I, I just heard that lyric like, oh, I'm not talking fast. You're listening slow. But that's just a joke. I'm just joking. Anyways, um, but yeah, so with, you know, patience in due time, I think there is going to be some realizations. I feel like this person is going to want to open up more. And, you know, like we said, there is a, a, the, the end result here of wanting this strength and, and wanting to, um, make you theirs is, is what I'm hearing with that. Like make you mine. Okay. Oh, and I'm also getting another message with this chariot here in reverse of how, like, I don't know if I have what it takes that for some of you, this person had really been hurt in the past to the point where they were like, I, they may be like, I don't know if I can do that again. I don't know if I can put myself through that again, which is very interesting. And, and it is understandable as well, too. 
um, when, when those things do happen, but there's always, you know, opportunities for us to open up our heart again as well. And that could be that patience, you know, coming to mind, this person obviously is still healing in, um, whether it's from that or just in general, you know? All right. So let's go ahead and get into the channeled messages now for you, pile three. What are some channeled messages from this person that they would like pile three to know? Oh no. Excuse me. <sighs> Didn't go too far. Oh, look at that. I put on a brave face, but I am scared too. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think that a lot of those things too, this person was not, isn't expressing it to you because they may not know how, or they may, you know, feel, of course, that's hard. That's hard for anyone to do it, to be like, look, I, to be vulnerable to the point where you're like, I'm insecure. Or I'm scared. Like, honestly, I don't, I don't know a lot of people that can do that and that's okay. But this is just coming through to say that it is true. They feel, they feel these insecurities. They feel this and they probably do try to put on a brave face, which I feel like most people would, to be honest. I want to look good for you. I'm scared to tell you how I really feel. Wow. Yeah, a lot of fear, a lot of worry. <laughs> if I want to have your babies. That's it. This, in this case, I feel like that's very sexual. Like, I want to make love to you. It's kind of like what that's saying. <laughs> I miss you so much, but I'm too stubborn to tell you. Yeah, there's a lot of energy of like holding back. I don't want this to be what, you know, end like this. And I don't want this to go this way. And I'm scared and all this stuff, but you're not really doing anything about it, which is unfortunate as well, too. But maybe this patience is coming through to say like in time, this person will. And hopefully will. And hopefully will. Because like we said before, it's not your job to convince anyone that, that you're worth it or anything like that. And I think these are things that this person needs to go through on their own. They need to realize these things on their own. Just like how it says, you know, I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. And, you know, with this death card here. So if there was an ending here, it's like there's a lot of realizations and I think we were feeling that with that world card as well too there's a lot of realizations coming right now to this person oh we have where did you even come from which I love this card because this just means that you made this person question everything <laughs> about about this situation like this person I feel like for a lot of you they could have been like not even really wanting a relationship they could have not even really been like that serious or like wanting to take anything serious due to like these issues and now like here you come and that's where that blame kind of comes into where they're like why did you make me feel this way why what did you do to me and that's so funny you know in a way because that's like that blame and then so they're like I was fine and not I was fine being numb and not feeling anything and not having any emotions and then all of a sudden this person comes into my life that makes me care way more than I want to that makes me feel way more than I want to <laughs> and I'm laughing because that's a good thing you know it's it's this person it's like almost this needed to feel these things and we can't run from it forever you know we have to feel something All right, any more channeled messages for pile three from this person? Okay, I was just thinking that too, because this card comes up a lot of the times too when there's that intense feelings. So we have, did you put a spell on me? Now, for most of you, I don't think this person really feels that you put a spell on, on, on them unless they, unless again, they're a little immature because this comes up. We talk about it almost every time this card comes up that again, with that blame card too, if that was the case, if they do feel that way, then this is them just again not wanting to take accountability for their own feelings and being like oh we'll pile threes into that kind of woo woo stuff or they're witchy or they're like this you know and that a lot of that comes from being misunderstood too like a lot of these topics and things get, get misunderstood it, there's fear still wrapped around it you know we're definitely advancing in in obviously in a culture of the of these things of these spiritual practices and stuff but there's definitely still that fear kind of mongering around it but anyways the point of this is like that they may assume like oh well they must have put a spell on me or this and that and and what's so funny too is that most of you are like uh, most of you are like as if like when when this card comes out like most of you are like they wish i cared enough to put a spell on them or they wish i wanted to put enough energy into that to do that as well you know what i'm saying it's so funny how people's like perceptions are like like they're like you guys are normally like yeah right <laughs> all 
Also, I don't con I mean, it's a I don't condone doing anything like that as well, too. Obviously, people do what they want to do. But I'm I like I feel as though for the most part, free will things when, when you try to mess with someone's free will, it never it's not going to go any way the way you think it's going to go. Um, in fact, it, I feel like there's always a lesson sometimes involved in there, but to each his own. And people have different experiences and different things like that, too. But I don't uh, that's not for me. No, no. Trust me and trust me, guys. Th listen, you don't need to put a spell on this person. It's it's apparent. I'm not saying you would, but just because we're on the topic, you are the spell, okay? Your energy, your magnetism, your personality, everything that you are is energetically is a spell within itself. And that's why this person feels this way. So you don't even, you don't even have to do that. <laughs> Tell me how you feel about me. Yeah, this person seems like they really want some reassurance um, emotionally, but they're like, it's, it's too stubborn to worry. Like, I do believe that this first one coming out is so true to like what I'm seeing here. This person does put on a brave face. They may act like they don't care. They may act all, even sometimes they may act cocky or whatever. And that's just seems that it seems that's all just like a protection facade when vulnerability seems to be something that is very hard for this person. Um, now with that patience coming up again too, I do feel like this is something about them growing and opening up and again, more realizations because vulnerability is something that is 100% necessary for a healthy relationship though. you If you don't feel safe to open up and you don't feel safe enough to do it, then what? how far is this even going to go? You know, like it's, um, and it's something that it obviously cannot be rushed as well and like i said it's different for every single one of you but just keep that in mind too that you know it's necessary to be vulnerable in in relationships and so when when dealing with this person you know keep that in mind is what i'm trying to say okay i just want to hear your voice again coming up and then let's see Ooh, bottom we have a strong one which is i love you more than words can explain now depending on where you're at with this person um i feel like this is again them feeling these things and not being able to express themselves because it's more than words can explain they may not know how to express this or how to explain how they feel and that's actually something that's that can be quite common as well too now just because this person isn't expressing them they may not know how to express this this is something that seems to be kind of foreign and a little bit intense to say the least about um what is that sorry about um this connection and like where it's going and how they're feeling they may not even know where these feelings are coming from we kind of saw that with that moon card as well too that they it seems like this person is growing and there is learning here but i feel like with this knight of swords at the bottom what they want to do is, is talk to you what they want to do is express themselves to you they may just not know how and they may be very scared like we just said of being vulnerable so um okay so here are the channel messages i'm going to leave them here just for a second if you would like to screenshot them um but we are going to cover them now with your advice on this or just in life in general. Okay, you got it? All right, Spirit. What advice do we have here for pile three about this situation or just anything they may need to hear right now? We don't need to limit it to just this. Maybe you need to hear something else too. Ooh. Okay, so this is a whole, I'm just taking the one on top. This is a whole like literal stack. I know sometimes you um, guys get upset if I put them back, but just know if they're meant to come out, like in, in all piles, if I put a card back and it's meant to come out, it will come out again. So it's not anything you need to worry about. Just trust that it's gonna come out if it's meant to. Okay, so let's talk about the first one. Relationships are complicated people will hurt you you will hurt other people keep your heart open anyways i love that yeah this is saying that there's a lot more things um beneath the surface you know that are still unseen we see that with that moon card again now um of course they are complicated and i think this is something that this person i feel like i'm like i feel like this is what this person needs to hear as well too that you know it's not always black and white it's not always so simple and it's not like just just like, you know, if someone does something that hurts you, it doesn't necessarily make them a bad person just because and also if someone does something that you like, 
that it doesn't make them a good person either. We're all a little bit of both. And I think with understanding that, you know, and I love that it says keep your heart open anyway. Um, that's one of the most bravest things anyone can do is, you know, go through situations where they get hurt and then still keep their heart open. So if that's something that you do do, Spirit is coming through to commend you for that and to say that your heart is also a superpower. As you can see, if you're not in touch with your heart chakra, like this person I think is a little bit um, out of touch or, ha or was out of touch with their heart chakra for a while it messes you up. So if you are very in touch with your heart chakra, then that's amazing. And like, I think you sometimes underestimate the beautiful superpower that that vulnerability and that love that you hold is. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Now, this is the sassy deck. This, it always, there's, some, there's always one card that sounds kind of mean. And it's not saying, it's because I know the big, in the big words, it says you're kind of being boring. But what this is really talking about is trying new things, you know, and hobbies, new, like anything that you feel like, maybe like going to bookstores or exploring topics that like, I'm hearing painting. Painting's a topic that I've been wanting to explore as well too. I used to do it a little bit, but I, I before like years and years ago when I had this weird perfectionism thing you know and perfectionism was stopping me from expressing my creativity because I was judging myself but now I feel like I'm in a that was like 10 years ago though so now I feel like I'm in a better place where I could explore that again same thing for you now um but with whatever you know go new places try new things I feel like this is like almost like a say yes type of energy um, oh, I love it. It says new stuff makes life thrilling. Yeah. So say yes to, you know, if your friends call you and say, hey, you want to go hiking or you want to go do this. And even if you feel like you don't have that right now, or, or that's not an option for you right now, that's okay. Um, try to just maybe branch out of your day to day routine and explore, um, whether that's taking a walk on a different route, because you know, sometimes what you do energetically by just say you have a day to day routine and you kind of do the same things every day. Well, you know, you can completely like timeline shift at times in a, in a, you know, and to an extent by doing different things. That's how, if you want to bring new into your life, you open up by doing different things, even things that seem meaningly not connected to anything that you would be wanting to do. And what I mean by that is you just break the norm. Um, breaking the cycle, you know, going on a, a walk, doing something differently, it'll bring in new energy and new stuff uh, and aligns you to new paths as well, too. Same thing with making decisions, you know, making a different decision opens up a whole new pathway for us. And that's why I feel like this is almost like a say yes to new experiences, say yes to, to something new. Um, because you never know where it could lead. And I think that's beautiful advice as well, too. All right. Any more advice here for my lovely pile threes? We have stay out of it. This card has been coming a lot, uh, quite a bit. Well, more than you would think. Bottom of the deck, we have eat your vegetables. Mother nature made green food for a reason. Yeah, do, do things good for you, good for your health. So we have stay out of it, which is you know what it is. So any kind of drama, anything that is requiring too much of your energy, anything that is draining you, anything that you know is not good for you, you're being asked to just stay out of it. Sometimes we get a fear of missing out of like, well, what if we didn't see this? And this could even happen with like, sometimes the fear of missing out can even happen when you're like scrolling on your phone too long. You know what I'm saying? It's like, for some reason you get this like, oh, well, there's gonna be a good post coming up. There's gonna be a good video coming up. You know, most likely there could be, but it's, you're not missing anything. You know what I'm saying? This is almost like that kind of energy too. But anything that's draining you, anything that's causing you to be upset, you don't need to dig deeper, look into it. Of course, this always reminds me too of like drama. If there's any kind of drama with any peers, friends, families, um, this person, this person's drama, whatever it is, you're being guided to stay out of it, to just create the most peaceful, um, life I guess yeah peaceful life for yourself or peaceful environment for yourself that you possibly can of course depending on your situation now the last card is sometimes you have to do crap you hate yep it's true suck it up and have a great day yeah definitely I feel you I feel this one it's true especially coming from someone with ADD, you know, if we're not doing those those tasks that give you <laughs> dopamine or give you kind of things, it sucks. But one of the best things you can do for yourself is doing the hard work, doing the things that you don't want to do, making those decisions, whether that's even just laundry, whether that's cleaning up your space, whether that's 
separating yourself from people that don't make you feel good anything that you know you kind of wanted you know that you need to do but are avoiding right now it's the time spirit saying this is the time to do that i heard fold that laundry <laughs> wash those clothes clean that room <laughs> make those phone calls set those appointments whatever it is for you huh all right so last but not least, I'm just going to leave you guys with some affirmations here. This could be, you know, in with more advice, I guess you would say too. But let's see, what affirmation cards do we have here for pile three? This pile three needs to hear right now. I now go beyond other people's fears and limitations. Wow. I feel called to do the bottom one as well too for some reason. So let's see. Okay. Wow, I feel like these are actually connected. So I now go beyond other people's fears and limitations. It is my mind that creates my experiences. I am unlimited in my own ability to create the good in my life. Oh yeah, beyond any limitations. And I love how it says I go beyond other people's fears and limitations. This can also be in regards to those fears and limitations, those limiting beliefs that we pick up you know, by growing up, by like that, we're usually set by other people, other people saying you can't do that, or other people saying we're not good at that, or you shouldn't do that. Those, those are other people's things, you know, that we end up tending to absorb. So I feel like this is a pile that is on a very much healing, cleansing journey. And this is a part of your journey as well, too, to let go of any expectations from other people as well, too. You know, it's your life and what other people expect from you is just what they can see for themselves. So if someone says, you can't do that. That's impossible. That does not mean it's impossible. It means that that person who's saying that believes it's impossible for them and so on and so forth. So same thing with this person. This person has a lot of fears and doubts and things like that. Again, that's their beliefs. You know, that doesn't have to be yours. In fact, I feel as though by seeing this other person's beliefs, you see it a lot clearly now that that's not how you want to feel. That's not what you want to be. That's not how you want to grow in this connection. And I think that's perfect for, for that. Okay. So the last one we have is loving others is easy when I love and accept myself. My heart is open. I allow my love to flow freely. I love myself. I love others and others love me. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love that these go, excuse me. I love these go so well, hand in hand, like, loving yourself and, and, and accepting yourself goes hand in hand with releasing these limitations, allowing your love to, you know, flow freely, allowing you to open your heart and realize that, you know, there's so much love out there in the world for you. In fact, it's trying to make its way to you. We just have to, you know, usually be open to it or we have to release blocks and things like that or we have to release the past whatever it is but i love that this is about you and your self-love and your journey as well too the more that you love yourself the more that you accept yourself the more you're going to love and accept other people's and you're going to accept other people's love because you're going to know that you deserve it and you're going to know it's for you and you're going to want it as well too you're not going to push it away um of course if it's in a good light though obviously if someone's love is distorted or if someone's love has toxic or anything like that then that's something differently obviously the the self-love option would be the opposite but of accepting it but you get what i'm saying you get the messages and i think that's beautiful and it's so true it all starts with ourselves it all starts with ourselves where we meet ourselves is how far we can meet other people and so on and so forth so when we take again when we take the focus off what other people can do for us and we see what we can do for ourselves trust me it all it all comes together you'll see <laughs> so i'm gonna leave this reading here for you thank you so much if you stay till the end pile three i really do enjoy these readings for you guys and um, i hope you enjoy them as well if you do and you're not subscribed don't forget to subscribe before the video ends or else we may never see each other again unless it is faded so i guess we'll see but other than that thank you to anyone who uh, supports this channel in any way who likes comments shares i'm so grateful for you guys and um I can't wait to, you know, have many more pick cards for you. So thank you. Love you. Bye.